Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, it's always inspiring to come to the masjid to listen to words of wisdom that remind us of the kindness and mercy of Allah. By being reminded of how much Allah loves us and is constantly looking out for us, makes us feel happy to show gratitude to Him by following the guidance that He has provided us through Islam. But it's one thing to remember Allah and do the right thing when we're at the masjid surrounded by Muslims and something completely different when you're away from the mosque, at school, or chilling with your friends. Today we'd like to share with you a couple of scenarios of how Muslims just like you might handle the challenges outside the masjid. Think about these scenarios, discuss them. Can something like this happen to you? What would you do if you were in their situation? Fatima, you've always been an A student, and throughout the years I've only heard nothing but good things about you. But you have to tell me, what am I supposed to think about this recent trend of you getting into trouble? Principal Skinner, it's not my fault. If it's not your fault, then tell me what is going on. Okay, so this is what happened. I was just walking down the hallway minding my own business when that loser Todd started yelling, Hey, there goes the Muslim with the ninja who got up ready to blow some infidel. Why do you have to blow a building and kill people? Punching somebody when they say Muslims are violent people doesn't help at all. Instead, think of ways how you could teach them about the beauty of Islam. Now, after hearing your story, I think I have an idea for you. You know, the school board is planning on having a series of diversity information sessions, and I think you'll be a good candidate to present on a topic of your choice. Hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. I think I know exactly what I want to present. And while historians note the great advancements in science, math, and medicine during this time, perhaps one of the more remarkable achievements of this period was how for centuries, while the Muslims ruled Spain in the Middle Ages, they governed people of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim faiths, living side by side with equal justice for all. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my presentation today. Whoa, did you see how she just punched that guy instead of coming up with a way that's more peaceful? Then in the second part, she was able to talk to the principal, come up with a good way to educate her classmates. Now that's how you do it. Okay, so as long as you guys remember how to derive the quadratic formula, you'll be fine for the exam. Yeah, the problem is though, I keep up being that equation. You know, I wish I was good at math like you were, Ali. Okay, well here's one trick to remember the equation. You guys all know that Pop Goes the Weasel song, right? Okay, so try singing along with that tune with the following lyrics. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Um, yeah, that was, uh, interesting. Listen, Ali, you're real smart and all, but you never come out to any parties. Do you do anything cool or fun? Uh... I do plenty of crazy things. See that thing over there? I smoke it all the time. What? I didn't know you do stuff like that. Maybe we should give this hookah a try now. Let's smoke this. Trying to impress his classmates, Ali tells him that he's down with some shady business, but when they call him out, he puts him in a squeeze. Let's see what happens when he tells them what he really does. Listen, Ali, you're real smart and all, but you never come out to any parties. Do you do anything cool or fun? I don't know what you guys consider cool, but I do a lot of fun stuff with my Muslim youth group. So what kind of activities do you do? All kinds of things. We play basketball, we play football, we go hiking in the summer. That seems kind of cool. Do you think I could come along one day? Everybody wants to fit in. Everybody wants to be cool. But it's not worth it if the only way to impress these people is by getting drunk or high. Instead, let them know about the cool activities you already do, like the sports you play, the culture you're from. Alright, all right, class. Alright, class. Let's get started. Hi. So for this lab experiment, I'm gonna put you up in uh, groups of two. So Yasmin, you and Brad, you're gonna be partners for today, okay? Hi. Sorry about that. I was about to say. So anyways, um, my parents would kill me if I went out with him, but I don't want to look stupid in front of my friends, and he is really cute. So Brad, 
we never really got to hang out before, so I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go study at the library sometime. Yeah, I'd love to spend time with you. In fact, my parents are away this week, so you could come over, and it'd be the perfect opportunity for us to study together. Did you see that? Wow! Yasmin's going down a slippery slope and it could be very dangerous. If she keeps on listening to her classmates about going out with Troy, it could end up in a physical relationship. Let's see how she could react differently to her friends. You guys need to get a grip of yourselves. I'm not interested in Brad like that. I have more important things to worry about, like my schoolwork. I don't want to get into a relationship until I'm married. Yasmin faced a decision that we all might have to encounter. It's very easy to get caught up in the dating scene. It's also very easy for things to escalate quickly. Outside of being in a loving, committed relationship and marriage, sex has dire consequences like rape, unwanted pregnancies, and STDs. It's time for Asad, but this game should be over soon. Uh oh, time is running out for Asad, but I can't just get up and go. Uh, time is running out, but this game should be over soon. You suck! Get off the court! Man, what was that guy doing? I don't know, but it looked mad sketchy. <laughs> wow. Many of us are uncomfortable about being open about our daily prayers with non-Muslims around. In this case, Salim's awkwardness made people think something was up. Let's see how I could handle it better. Time out, time out, time out. I need 10 minutes. I'll be right back. I gotta go pray. Man, what were you just doing? Uh, hey, I was just finishing up my prayer. As long as we pray five times a day, I was just finishing up the afternoon one. Prayer is a gift from Allah that allows us to connect with Him on a daily basis. If you want to get closer to Allah, then you got to make sure that you keep up with your prayers. Now, you don't want to leave the prayers just because you're at school or at work, because you think it doesn't fit the lifestyle. But what you should do rather is let people know that you pray. Let your principal, let your teachers, let your classmates, let whoever's around know that you pray on a regular basis. That way, if they see you pray, they're not alarmed by it, and they might even be interested and want to learn more. Well. We hope you learned something today. We hope by watching these scenarios and discussing them that you've been able to come up with some ideas on how you'd handle similar situations in the future. Asalaamu As Alaikum. This is High Productions.